Hi, I'm Eric Siegel, and today we're going to be checking out the Best Glide ASC Survival Fishing Kit Basic Version. Now, this is the most basic survival fishing kit that Best Glide makes. They do have a more advanced version that I'll be reviewing later. And this is the first of many survival kit type items that I'm going to be reviewing from Best Glide ASC. They really make some cool stuff, and I'm really happy with what I've got so far. Um, I've got about four or five survival kit items from them at, the, at this point, and uh, I like them all. They're very good. They have a very utilitarian kind of look to them, much more so than the prettier survival kits made by SOL and others. Uh, not that I don't like SOL. They make great survival kits, but these are much more uh, utilitarian and, and sort of form followers function. And that's not a surprise because apparently Best Glide ASC supplies a lot of survival kits and stuff like that to government agencies. And so it would figure that it would have a more utilitarian look to it. But anyway, on the front here, we've got the Survival Fishing Kit Basic Version. The Adventure Basic Survival Fishing Kit offers the basics for survival fishing. A durable metal container, fishing lures, salmon eggs, which is interesting, a fly, bait holders, leader, weights, floats, 50 pounds of 12-pound test fishing line, and a desiccant to absorb moisture. Pretty cool. And then on the back, the basic survival fishing kit is designed to provide the basic fishing components necessary to catch fish in a survival situation. The survival fishing kit is a kit of choice for search and rescue groups, relief and aid organizations, the U.S. government, campers, hikers, and others. And then down here, they've got these silly California warnings about lead in the sinkers. Uh, just in case anyone is stupid enough to try to eat one of the lead sinkers, I guess they have to put those warnings on there now and waste lots of people's time and money. But anyway, uh, around the box, they've got this brown waterproof tape. And this is found on a lot of the Best Glide ASC survival kits. And I imagine they put it there just to get a nice seal and some water and moisture protection. Uh, I don't think you could submerge this under water for an extended period of time without water eventually getting in. But for your basic everyday waterproofing needs, you know, rain or just a quick dunk in the water, uh, it'll do just fine. All right, so let's go ahead and peel off the tape. And this is pretty good quality tape. So if I was in a survival situation, I definitely would not toss the tape. Any kind of tape in a survival situation is a valuable asset and is worth holding on to because there's all sorts of things you can use it for. So we'll set that aside and now we'll pop the top. Now on the top of the lid they've got a sealant and at first I thought it was just a rubber gasket like you find on a lot of survival kits including ones made by Best Glide but it's not rubber it's a sealant it's more like a caulk than a rubber gasket and if you mess with it with your fingernails you can actually tear it apart so it's very soft and pliable now at first I wasn't sure why they would do it like this why not just use a rubber gasket but then as I thought about it you know perhaps it's a cost saving thing but also I think maybe because it's soft and pliable it might be able to provide a better seal when pressed down firmly with the case better than just plain old rubber and so maybe that's why they did it. So with a, a firm press and then the tape around, you probably get superior water protection than just a plain rubber gasket. That's my guess. So anyway, on the inside here, falling out first, we've got two floaters. Then we've got a rubber fishing lure with a hook in it and a lead weight at the front. You know, just your standard fishing lure. Then we've got another rubber fishing lure. You've seen these a million times in tackle boxes. These are just your standard little grub worm fishing lures. Then they've got a fly, which is kind of cool. I guess you could do a little fly fishing if you wanted to, or if you were on a river or a stream, you could use this to catch some trout or other river fish. It's pretty handy. Under that, we've got this bag with the rest of the fishing gear in it. So we've got a spool of 12-pound test fishing line 
And again, it's 50 feet. And, you know, some of this stuff can be multi-use. So you've got the fishing line here, but it's wrapped around a piece of wood and it has a twisty tie. Twisty ties can be very handy in a survival situation. And a piece of wood, you know, could be, and it's, it looks like it's balsa wood, something very light and porous. So this could actually be, you know, tender if you needed to start a fire. So multi-purpose is always good in any kind of survival kit situation. And then we've got the, the weights. One of them fell out of the bag. These little lead weights, standard fishing weights. Then let me go ahead and dump this stuff out so you can see it easier. Of course, the one thing I wanted to come out didn't come out. This is the leader for your line. Here's the desiccant pack, which obviously isn't for fishing. It just absorbs moisture in the box, which is important. Then we've got our fishing weights that I already showed you one of those. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And it looks like one of them is a little larger than the others. Maybe two of them are. Yeah. There's two larger ones and then four smaller ones. Pretty diverse, i got to say. And then there's a series of fishing hooks. So we've got two of these larger ones and then four of these smaller J-hooks. And one of, uh, I think, actually, these are smaller and then these are even smaller. So there's three sizes of fishing hooks here. Not bad. Let me line those up for you real quick on my hand so you can see. So we've got these two little ones. We've got these two medium size hooks here. And then we've got these two larger hooks right here. And that gives you a nice variety of hooks. You know, so depending on what you're fishing for, you'll have the right hook. You know, if you're in a small stream or a small pond, obviously you might not be able to catch something with a larger hook, but you can catch a little teeny fish with these little hooks. And if you happen to see some larger fish or know there might be larger fish, you can use one of these larger hooks. So that's a nice variety. I like that. And then finally, we've got this little sealed container with four salmon eggs on the inside. And again, this is just another luxury in this small fishing kit, you've got salmon eggs, and this could be a valuable fishing bait in a survival situation. It's really cool that they put these in here. I'm not sure what the shelf life is on these salmon eggs, but it's really cool that they put them in here. I imagine they'll probably be good for, you know, a couple years or so, but very impressive that they put these in here. The case itself is part of the survival kit. It's made of metal, and so, of course, you could use this portion to boil some water for drinking or cook some of the fish that you catch. And the lid also, if you can remove the sealant, you could use this as a little miniature frying pan to fry up some fish. So that's very useful. And then lastly, I forgot to mention this, but the piece of balsa wood that the line is spooled around, I suppose if you had to, you could use that as a rudimentary reel to reel in the line after you've cast it out. I wouldn't do it that way because it's just a flimsy piece of balsa wood. I would probably tie the line to a stick or something like that, but you could use it for that purpose if you had to, I suppose. So there you have it. I've got everything packed back in here and we'll go ahead and close it up. And that is the Best Glide ASC Survival Fishing Kit Basic Version. Now, if you want to buy one of these right now as of August 2019, the price on these is anywhere between $10 and $15 depending on where you buy it from. I bought this on Amazon, and I believe it was about $13 or $14. So it's not a bad price. It's very affordable. And as you've seen, it does have some rather luxurious items in there for a survival fishing kit. So i got to say I'm pretty impressed. But that's it for now. Again, this is the Best Glide ASC Survival Fishing Kit Basic Version. I'm Eric Siegel, and I'll see you next time. Uh, you actually got some salmon eggs, which is a really good thing to have in a fishing kit. And um, 
Oh, there's my cat.